Hello everybody and welcome back. I'm so happy to see you here. Today I'm going to be trying out the clean look that has been very popular on TikTok recently. I might be a little bit late, but it's okay. And I really wanted to know what made this look so different from a no makeup makeup look and basically you're going for a very effortless look think of Hailey Bieber or Bella Hadid when they're spotted out on the street they always have sleek hair very glowy skin a little bit of jewelry very clean lines in their wardrobe they just look Clean. So basically Gen Z has rebranded the no makeup makeup look and they've given it a new name the clean look So I'm going to be testing it out today. I have a lot of the products that they use in the TikToks, So we'll see how they all perform together But overall very excited to get into it. So before we do so I'd love for you to subscribe if you aren't already It would mean so much to me and let's get to it. I'm going to start off by putting on some SPF and I'm going to be using my super goop glow screen which is perfect for this kind of look haven't used this since I was on vacation but it's so pretty my goodness I miss that I keep moving my ponytail to the side here because if I I look like a hard-boiled egg if it's not on my shoulder here. I'm now going to be going in with the Daydream Cushion from M Cosmetics. I'm using the shade Gentle Light. I haven't used this in a second. I'm excited to use this again. I just thought that this would be perfect for this look. Some ladies don't go in with a base at all, um, but I'm going to do so because I have some acne scars I'd like to kind of minimize the look of. I'm using my MAC 170 brush. This is a great base option for this type of look because it has sheer coverage. You can see through it, but it's so blurring that it looks like it adds more coverage than it actually does. And I can't remember if I ever used it on top of the glow screen or not. I can't remember, but they look really nice. I'm just gonna go over with my sponge to ensure that I don't have any brush strokes. I want it to be very even and skin-like. So for my concealer, they always go in with a little bit to brighten up under there. I'm going to use the e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer in the shade Light Sand. I haven't used this in a while. Um, I just saw it floating in my collection. I was like, hey, let's revisit you. So I'm going to put a little dot on each corner. And I'm going to kind of first blend it out with my finger quick to melt it into everything. I've been doing this more and more. I feel like I like the effect a bit more than just going straight in with my beauty blender. Warms up the product a bit, makes it more malleable, and I feel like it sits nicer. I feel like makeup never looks as good when it's applied cold. So that's why I never understood the TikTok trend of like freezing your beauty blender because it just makes your makeup look so weird. Now I'm going to powder my under eyes a bit and I just have my Kosas Cloud set beside me so I'm going to throw that under my eyes and I'm going to revisit this in a bit after I'm done using my cream products. Here, I'll zoom you guys in a little bit. I did this yesterday as well and I really like the way this was looking under my eyes. I didn't use this concealer though so we'll see what happens. Yeah, it's fine. It is nice. So now to add dimension and color and light to my face, I'm going to be using the three beauty wands from Charlotte Tilbury. So I'm going to start off with the bronzing or contour wand, and I'm using the shade Fair Medium. I think I'm going to use my Melt 777 brush to apply that. I haven't used this in so, so long, and I'm going to apply some little dots. I kind of forget how powerful these are, so I'm just going to start off with that amount. Oh wow, that's so pretty. It's been so long since I've used this, but it's so pretty. Why have I ignored it for so long? Like, so easy to use, so pretty. Just for fun, I shouldn't have done that. I'm just having fun. 
yeah, it was perfect right before I did that. I was just having too much fun. I'm just gonna go over with my MAC 77, nope, my MAC 170 brush <laughs> to take that down a touch. Okay, that's good enough. So now I'm going to pick up my highlighting one and I've never used the highlighter and the blush together because this one is like a blush highlighter in one. Um, but I'm gonna go all out today, why not? This is the shade Spotlight. And it's the same kind of thing, little cushion thing. I'm just gonna dab it out with my finger. Pretty, pretty glowy, and it's just gonna get even more glowy. Um, now I'm going to be using this one. I have the shade Pink Gasm. So, uh, and they always apply it kind of higher up on the cheek as well. So I'm gonna start off with two dots, blending that out with my Quo Beauty foundation brush. Okay, maybe I could have gone for a little bit more, but maybe that's the perfect amount. Okay, is that enough blush? I feel like I wanna use more, but I feel like I should refrain. That's good enough, that's good enough. <laughs> I'm just gonna revisit my Kosas Cloud Set again. By the way, using the shade Feathery and just gonna set the center of my face. So today I'm actually going to be doing my brows on camera because I want to demo a product I feel very excited about. But don't be don't be worried. There'll be an intermission snuck into this video somewhere. Now that we settled that, over 2021, I tried to find a product for my brows that would give me the feathery look, but that wouldn't start crumbling in my brows. I tried to love the Refi stuff, but sadly that stuff did not work for me. I feel like I'm too animated with my forehead and my eyebrows would start looking very crumbly and chunky. I don't know how to describe it, but like it looked like dry skin in my eyebrows and I just couldn't do it anymore. The Refi stuff does not work for me, but e.l.f. came out with the brow lift and it is incredible. I tried this out for the first time, I think three days ago now. Oh my God, it is so fun to use. I feel very, very excited. Apparently this is very similar to the ABH Brow Freeze, but I don't have that product. So I don't know how this one compares, but here's what it looks like. It just looks, I don't know. When I first opened it up, I wanted to eat it. Why? Probably because it looks like ice. Anyways, they also came out with their own tool. So this side is kind of like a palette knife, which you use to really flatten your brows. And of course you get a little spoolie. So I'm going to dunk my spoolie in this stuff and just look how quickly it works. So I'm just gonna comb it through my brows. And then I'm going to take the palette side really adhere them to my skin. I'm not gonna leave them like this because this is a little crazy. And now I'm going to kind of settle the front pieces down and just get the general shape that I want. I kind of like how they spike out over here, kind of gives them a lift. And I like when these ones are fluffy. But since my eyebrows are kind of thinner and I still have some sparse areas, I'm going to take my Rare Beauty Brow Harmony Duo. This is my favorite brow powder, just because it feels like a hydrated brow powder. Like it feels kind of um, putty-like a little bit when you touch it with your finger, which is nice compared to the other brow powders I've tried in the past. Normal brow powders just feel like eyeshadows in a way, but these ones actually feel different and you don't get any fallout, which is cool. So I'm going to take a mixture of this too. I don't know what shade I'm in because I stupidly took off the sticker. Why? I don't know. And I'm going to be using this Anastasia number no. seven brush to add little hair-like strokes through my brows, just to make them look a little bit more dense. And there we are. I feel like I still need to practice and play around with it a bit more, but 
overall very happy so now for my eyes I'm going to do a little bit of something I'm just going to add a bit of a contour shade to my lash line to make my lash line appear a bit thicker and I'm also going to prime my eyes with the rare beauty eye primer so while I'm doing that please enjoy the intermission So for my eyes, I'm just going to be using this Catrice 5 in a Box Mini Eyeshadow Palette in the shade 010 Golden Nude Look. I'm just going to use the this shade right here. Um, I'm going to apply it in a shape of an eyeliner a little bit, but I want it to be very subdued. Like I don't want it to look like an eyeliner, if that makes sense. just want to enhance my eyes. And I'm applying it with this circle brush because I don't want the edges to be clean or sharp or anything. I just want it to be a little definition. This is a ColourPop E10 brush. And that's it. I'm actually just gonna take a tiny bit of my Charlotte Tilbury wand, the highlighting one, and I'm going to apply some of an inner corner highlight right on the lower portion of my inner corner. I'm not gonna put it where I usually do. And I'm also gonna throw it up in here. I thought this would be a fun change. A little something different that no one will notice. <laughs> and for my mascara, I'm going to be using my Marc Jacobs at Lash while I still have it. And for my lower lashes, I'm just gonna put a little layer of my Annabelle Skinny Mascara just on the outer corners, right there. A super light coat. I don't want any volume or anything. I just want to tint the outer ones. Now, finally, for my lip combo, I'm going to be doing a combo I haven't done in a very long time, but I'm excited to reunite myself with it. I'm going to be using Oak once again from MAC. I feel like I've been using this in every single one of my videos in 2022 so far. And I pulled out my Dior Lip Glow Oil in the shade Rosewood 012. Now, this was a huge favorite of mine all throughout 2020, but I kind of distanced myself from this product because I was using it way, way, way too much on my channel. So I just needed to take a breather from it. And by doing that, I kind of forgot about it, but I'm so happy that these are kind of popular online again. So I was happily reminded of this thing and it's so, so pretty. I'm just going to line my lips up real quick with MAC Oak. And I'm kind of diffusing it into the center of my lip. I don't want like a harsh edge of lip liner. And now I'm gonna crack this thing open. It smells so good. And here is the finished final makeup look. What do you guys think? Do you guys think I look clean? <laughs> I feel clean, I feel very pretty in this look. It's very refreshing, very easy to achieve, very quick to achieve. Overall, I'm happy to have this look in my look tool belt. I guess I don't know I don't know where I was going with that but I really enjoy this look and I hope you guys do as well let me know what other videos you'd like to see from me this month but that is all for me today you guys thank you so much for watching I really hope you enjoyed today's video and found it fun if you did please give this video a like it would help me out so very much I'll make sure to link all of the products I used in today's video in the description down below so feel free to check that out and I'll see you in the next one love you Bye.